However, buddy, once again, I need to put this up here. There we go. Okay. Today, I'm doing a review. Uh, it's actually day one of my newer week. I'm going to review these two bad boys. Now, these are the same products. I just have two of them, so I'm showing you each one. They are newer flashes. These are one of my favorite newer products. I'm going to go into a more close-up hands-on view. Here it is. Now, on the, I'm just going to uh, show you uh, certain parts of the flash. On the side here, there is the battery chamber, and it has uh, you have to put in two AA, uh, four AA batteries. But don't that don't let that scare you because actually this this flash works really really great on just on all four batteries. It lasts really long, so don't be worried about wasting all those uh, batteries because they actually last a really really long time. Then when you move over to the back, it has a meter showing you what the power of the flash is. And on, on uh, beside that are three different modes. I only mess around with manual mode and slave mode because I have no idea what slave 2 is. And so I just don't use it. And then beside that is the power light which shows you when it is ready to flash and the buttons on the bottom on the, on the left you see the that you can change the power with these two buttons and then beside that there's the mode button that switches between uh, two um, each of the modes and just real quick I want to explain what slave mode is slave mode uh, if you don't know it actually fires off once you flash a uh, different like maybe you're on your pop-up flash and it'll trigger this flash using that which is really useful if you don't have a sync cord beside that button there is a test button that will flash when you press that to show you how bright the flash is and there's the on and off switch and as you can see here the the power but uh, the power light turns red once it's ready to flash and you can press uh, test to check that out and on the very left side there's these two connection inputs they don't I've never used them because they never came out the flash never came with uh, cords to go with these but this right here is a sync output and then beside that I think it's some sort of charging cable but uh, input but it never came with anything to go in there so I don't really use those I have no idea what they're exact exactly there for but they have them there and on the front you can see there's the there's a light meter for the for the uh, there's a light sensor for the flash the slave mode and so we, when you look at the head it goes all the way down and then it goes back up and then you can slide it all the way backwards so that's really really uh, interesting and cool goes all the way around 360 degrees and then once you look at the actual flash head itself you see there's these two uh, things that come out off out of the flash and these are this one right here is a, a bounce card that comes with the flash and this is a, a light spreader I have no idea what the correct term is for this but it, it basically spreads light more so that is really helpful. Uh, usually, these are only built on the more expensive uh, flashes, more like the $300 flashes, but they decide to put it on this flash as well, which is really, really neat. I love that. And at the bottom, there's, of course, the hot shoe slide and also a tightening bolt so that you can just tighten it onto your uh, camera and it, it won't fall off. I have a a sync cord that goes with this, so that it, it does. I don't have to use my pop-up flash to slave it. Uh, so far, everything has gone great with this flash. The only problem is when you uh, I actually melted the insides once because it got hot. This is something that every 
flash does and it once it gets hot it might it, if it's not built very well it might melt inside but in this case all it all the problem was was it when you push down it it kind of snaps inside because the mechanism inside there got melted a bit and I mean it works perfectly fine it just has that minor problem it it, it can get uh, melted inside but still all it works perfectly it just has that little problem in it and I have been really happy with this with this flash so far I've used it for a really long time and so I, I even got got two because they're so great and I love these flashes so I really recommend uh, you going out and getting these especially if you don't have a flash already these are great for beginners uh, the only the uh, one other thing is these aren't TTL flashes or through the lens flashes they don't automatically figure out what the what the power should be so you have to manually do it with those uh, power buttons and that I think is actually something that's better than the TTL flash because just as oh, what I view the manual mode on your camera this actually helps you learn about how to use a flash what different powers are what different powers do different uh, things to the subject and so I think that is actually to me is really cool that you can just manually do it and you won't have to worry uh, you don't you won't have that auto function it kind of uh, keeps you from not thinking about what the, the flash power is now there, there's also use cases for TTL flashes because uh, many people do need uh, the auto capability because they have to run and gun. Same thing with the auto mode on your camera. Uh, many people need to use the auto mode just in certain cases, or at least not direct manual, maybe aperture priority, something like that. So the overall is these flashes are amazing. Get these. They're only 30 bucks. So actually probably around 40, I think. And um, they newer actually came out with other models that are TTL if you really need that, and they aren't that expensive either. They have more strobe-like uh, flashes that cost a bit more, but I, I don't care for those really high power flashes because I, I don't I don't ever get in those situations where I need one. So I'll put the link for this flash on. Uh, on the description the link to the Amazon page and also to their website where they sell all their stuff you can check the, that their website out too hey everybody thank you so much for watching this video if you could please uh, comment on this video if you have any ideas or anything came to your mind when you watch this or if you have any feedback as well I I just really love if you commented on this video either on Google Plus or on YouTube. I don't care. I would love to get some feedback. Also, if you want to keep seeing my videos and keep up to date on what I'm doing, you could follow me on Google on the, my Google Plus channel page and you could also uh, subscribe on my YouTube page. I mean, I, I'd rather you subscribe than follow me on Google Plus, but if you'd rather just follow me on Google Plus, that'd be fine as well. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in day two of my newer week. Goodbye.